Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to try to transform myself into the Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz. So if you're interested in seeing how it comes out, please stay tuned. So for those of you who are interested um, in how I got my hair this way, I mean it's obviously not that good but um, I just thought I would just like to share it with you guys. So I use these like curling hair rods or whatever. And then I just rolled them in my hair and then slept in them overnight while my hair was still damp. And then in the morning you took them out and then it's just like heatless curls that kind of imitate the way the Cowardly Lion had his hair. If you want to see how I do my whole face, just stay tuned. So I actually looked at all the makeup I have and I have this Physician's Formula and then I have this BB cream and then I have some concealer. And then I have my face paint, obviously, so I think I'm just going to do a mixture of all that and see how it comes out. Okay, so then now I'm just going to take my Physician's Formula, like, foundation, and I'm just going to use it like as bronzer, but I'm going to, like, really bronze up my face to give it, like, make it look darker, because I already tanned up my face a little bit, so... it is good but look how dang orange this guy is so um <laughs> i'm gonna check it looks like on his eyelids and like right here is like oh okay and then this is his like muzzle part okay so Okay, so now I'm just going to dip into some brown with my brushes, and I'm just going to grab this brush, and I'm just going to, like, lather it in my brown paint. I added a little yellow to it, so it's not as pigmented, and I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm going to try to mimic his nose. Okay, so now I'm going to make like more triangle shape going down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the top of my lip with some brown, dark brown, uh, brown, and then I'm going to like stipple like concealer or something on the bottom of my lip. And then that's my top lip. And I'm just gonna get my concealer and put it like on my lip. Ah. Yay. All right, so now I'm just gonna take
Okay, so now I'm just gonna add some black dots and then my mom, and then I'm gonna do, oh, some eyeliner off camera and I will be done. So, Okay, so I am going to use, I'm going to use this shade right here to do my, my eye makeup. So I'm going to get my marker here and I'm just going to dip into that shade and put it all over my eyelid. I'm just kind of like rubbing it back and forth on my crease. This is like my favorite shade. into a darker shade the one right next to it this one right here and I'm just gonna even darken up that inner corner because I just think it'll be fun to do oh my gosh it's so pretty and I'm only using the tiniest bit So now, hello. <laughs> oh my god, we're on the same team, yay. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna use th this shade, I think, this shade right here. And I'm just gonna pop it right here in like um the middle of my lid. I Okay, so now the last step I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this shade here in my, and I'm just going to put it like right in the inner corner of my lid. And I'm just stamping it in. I'm literally just stamping it in. Honestly, I think James Charles did a really good job on this palette because it's so pigmented and there's no fallout even with the glitter shades. So, and my last step is highlighter. Now, I know what you guys are all saying. Skyla, your nose is covered with a bunch of face paint, so why would you do highlighter? Because I can do it on my cheeks and my brow bone. So, I'm just gonna use this highlighting shade I'm gonna use this highlighting shade to um, highlight my skin. I actually really like this highlighter because it's pretty subtle. Oh my gosh. I was looking in the... Oh my gosh, it's really pretty. I was looking in the camera, I wasn't looking in the mirror, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so bright. Kind of? I don't know. Oh! And then, I'm just kidding, no. And then a little bit of my chin. And then, that, I think, oh, oh, okay. So now, I'm going to do possibly my lashes and eyeliner, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did some eyeliner and some falsies. 
and I that's the end of it. I hope you liked the way it came out. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Shout out to my mom for helping me put on these beautiful lashes and letting me sit in her back backyard and scare away the golfers. So um, I'm also going to be doing my sister, my brother, and my mom as one of the characters from Wizard of Oz. So stay tuned for that if you're interested and what they're going to be transformed into. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye! And thanks for supporting Skyla's face painting.